unpopular gym opinion. I totally understand that people don't want to interrupt others during their workout, especially if you're mid-set. But personally, I wish I could talk to more people at the gym and I wish it was more normalized to approach females. I wouldn't really say I'm shy, but there are certain days I'm more social than others. But if you were to approach me at the gym, I will instantly start smiling and having a conversation with you. If we're both at the gym, we already have fitness in common. Why would we not want to meet more people at the gym? Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Ty X Worldwide. Now check this out. She's mad that men don't approach her in the gym. You see, I could have sworn about a year ago there was a trend going on of women exposing men at the gym, setting up the camera to try to make them look like they looking at them. Remember that? See, they see they forgot about that. So now men are saying, you know what? You ain't about to get me. <laughs> you ain't about to make me go viral. Uh-uh, we ain't about to play that game. And now they mad. You see, women don't like when men adjust to their bull crap. They don't like when we adjust to their games. They don't like that. See, men are saying, nah, we ain't, we ain't worried about y'all because y'all just be wanting attention. Y'all just want that stuff. Nah, nah, we ain't playing that game no more. And now they mad. Now they're like, wait, hold on. Why why you guys not approaching me at the gym no more? Well, where are you? Men figured y'all out. We know what y'all doing. I already told you guys, when I'm in the gym, I don't even look at them. I don't even, yo, I don't even worry about what these women are doing. I'll be in the gym grinding on my purpose. And that's what I go to the gym for. And I told you guys, a lot of these women don't be going to the gym to really focus on themselves. No, they be going in the gym to get attention. <laughs> they be in that gym trying to get your attention And they get mad when they see you on your grind They get mad when they can't get that from you Guys, I'm telling you right now Women in the gym get pissed If you go in there and just handle your business and bounce I'm telling you, bro Because they want your attention And when they can't get your attention, they get mad I don't got time to be focused on these women in the gym I ain't doing none of that stuff I go in there, I handle my business Yo, I don't even get these women the thought of me trying to shoot my shot at them at the gym Like, if I walk by them, my hands go up <laughs> I'm like that T-Pain song Everybody hands go up and they stay there, and hey, that's exactly how I am. I don't, I don't want you to even think nothing. Nope, hands up. CCTV, you see me, right? I don't want her thinking I try to cop a field. I'm, uh-uh. Nope, my hands go up every time I walk by them. Hands up. Mm -mm. I don't want. Mm -mm. You might give me. Oh, he, he. I don't like the way he, he came too close to me, and I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't doing that. I just go to the gym and handle my business. That's what I go to the gym for. But lot of women don't. They, they, they mad at that. They get mad when they say you don't want no smoke. You, I don't want no smoke with you, shorty. Uh-uh. Now, if she come and approach me and talk to me, that's a different ballgame. I had that happen before. I don't have women that came up to me and started conversations with me. You know, that, that's different. But however, me going up to approach a woman in the gym, nah, I don't do that, bro. Nah. And I don't recommend that too, guys. I don't recommend you go up to a woman in the gym and start talking to her. It's, 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 not, a, it's not a good move. I, that's what I believe. Now, you can do what you want to do, but I don't recommend that, bro. Just go to the gym, get a good workout, you know, focus on yourself. Do that, man. And I'm telling you from experience, every time I approach the women in the gym, it never worked. And here's a funny thing. They will be the ones that will give me the choosing signal. They'll be looking at me, staring at me. I'm talking about doing all this stuff. And then when I go to approach them, they turn around and jack me. I'm like, wait, what? Shorty, you were just staring at me. Like, I'm talking about staring at me like a fresh piece of meat. And I'll go up to you and talk to you. Now, you reject me? I bet. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. That's I'm, Yo, I don't even approach him. I just stay on my ground. I focus on me. I be in my zone. I put my headphones in and I just bang out. I, I zone out. I zone out. I don't even worry about them. Because you got to do that, man. You cannot be focused on these women in the gym. The gym need to be a place where you go in and handle business. Like I said, now, if a chick come and approach you and want to talk to you, that's a different ball game. But do not just go approach him, no, bro. Listen, you are not stuck on that man. You are stuck on the thought that you associate with that man. Let's talk about it. I'll speak for myself. I would always get so confused why I couldn't get over a man when he was treating me so poorly, was not changing, was not acting like the man that I want. But I figured out that I wasn't attached to him. Even if I blocked him on social media and didn't have those visual reminders, even if I didn't text him for a long period of time, I would still think about him. But then I realized that I wasn't actually thinking about him. I was thinking about what he could be, how he could treat me, what the relationship could be like. I was attached to the idea that I had associated with him. And it was the idea, not the man, that was bringing me peace. That idea, that picture that I painted in my head is what was bringing me peace and hope that there was connection and there was intimacy out there for me. My attachment to the idea of him was filling voids within me. I'm explaining to you what she's saying in this video. 
You see, women love to try to change men. That's what they love to do. They love to try to make that man become something he's not. And this is why they go after toxic dudes because they want that toxic dude to be the good guy. She want to tame that toxic dude, you know, say, hey, look, it's because of me he's a good dude now. It's because of me he's cleaned up now. It's because of me I did it. She want to take all the credit for that. I'm telling you, bro, this is how these women think, bro. They want to change you. And this goes for good guys too. They'll try to get a good guy to get him to be a toxic dude. This is why they try to start arguments with him. They'll pick fights with him so he can get riled up in his emotions and get angry and and, you know, be like the toxic dude. This is what they want. Matter of fact, a couple years back, I had a chick that came over to my crib and tried to pick a fight with me and told me, oh, you too laid back. You're not aggressive enough. Like, yo, this is what they want to do, man. They want to get you right. You know what it is, bro? I'm going to keep it real with you right now. They want to be able to control your emotions, man. That's what they want. They want to control your emotions. They want to know that I got this man within my power. That's what it boils down to. That's why they want to change that toxic dude into a good dude. And they want to change that good dude into a toxic dude because they want to have that power, man. And this is why I tell you guys, silence and being stoic is power. Because when you do that, she's going to have to conform to you. She'll be like, okay, uh... What can I do to get this man to really focus on me? Because when you stoic and you silent, it shows her that you're not focused on her. And now she's going to be infatuated with you. Guys, you never want to give women the power to have control over your emotions. Never do that. We're going to expose my ex-boyfriend today. I'm going to be naming some things that he did that I thought was normal at the time. All right, let's start off with a banger. So we went to dinner and he was upset with me that day. He was mad at me for some reason. And when it was time to pay for the dinner, he made me pay because he was mad at me. So I put my card down, and then when the lady came to get the card, he took it from my side of the table and gave it to her because he didn't want her to think that I was paying for it. This was a while ago when he was playing football, and I would go to his games because he would ask me to go to his games, and then I would go up to him after the game, and he would literally put a hand up and walk away. All right, here's another time. He went to the beach with three, four girls and spent the night in an Airbnb with him and his friends for two, three nights and didn't text me the three nights that he was there. He would go to parties with his friends or kickbacks, he called them, and I wasn't allowed to go with him, but I also wasn't allowed to go to any parties or kickbacks by myself, but he never wanted to go with me, so I was never allowed to go, and while he was there at those kickbacks, he wouldn't text me. He never wanted to go to homecoming, he didn't even want to go to prom with me, yeah, and of course I couldn't go by myself, so I missed my senior prom. And of course, the infamous car video that I had on my page that I had to take down because he got upset about it. He, I caught him cheating on me on his phone, take that as you will, and instead of apologizing, he drove us to a ass motel. And we spent the night there, and he made up for it by taking me on a trip. And then when he fell asleep, I found more on his phone, and we broke up for about a week. That dude did all that stuff, and she still went back to him and stayed with him. This is why I tell you guys, never live up to a woman's standard, because these women will tell you, you got to do all this for me, but the guy before you, they didn't do any of that. Matter of fact, he treated her like trash. Now, I'm not saying go out here and treat women bad and, you know, be mean to them. That's not what I'm saying, but don't ever try to feel like you got to, you know, live up to the standard that they tell you, oh, you got to do this, you got to be this guy to get them. No, live up to your standard. Be the man that you want to be for you, but don't go out here and try to do things to appease to women. No, they need to appease to you. What you have to understand about women is that what comes out her mouth and what she actually do are two totally different things once you understand this dealing with women will be so much easier bottom line guys focus on yourself continue to elevate and only deal with the women that want to deal with you point blank period all right it's your boy ty x worldwide man i hope you got the message in this video just like all my videos there's a message in there y'all already know what to do man like comment subscribe Get with y'all another time.